as you can probably tell, I'm not in Florida. But I wanted to do something special because I just hit 10,000 subscribers. So I wanted to bring all of you along on a really cool, really special, somewhat rare journey. Every three to five years, a bird comes all the way from the North Pole down into the United States. That bird is the snowy owl. And I wanted to show all of you just how cool this bird is. So come on, let's check it out. Somewhere out there among the miles of snow-covered plains is an absolutely incredible bird that seems to have an almost supernatural essence, the snowy owl. This is a bird that demands your full and total attention. Glance away for a split second and the majestic snowy owl will vanish without a trace. No telltale audible clue of giant wings moving through the air and no visible sign of the bird on the horizon, in the sky, or on the ground. They simply disappear. As soon as you're ready to abandon the idea of possibly seeing the bird again, they suddenly reappear in your peripheral vision before landing effortlessly right in front of you. And while you're busy scratching your head trying to figure out what just happened, the snowy owl glances in your direction, focuses its gaze on your bewildered human form, and at that very moment, you realize you are in the presence of something possibly otherworldly. Giant snowy owl, directly over here to the right on top of this telephone pole. He's looking right at us. Oh my God, it's huge. That is awesome. So I'm gonna try to get on the other side and see if I can get some pictures in light even though there is no light right now. I don't wanna scare the bird. So let's see what I can get. So we drove 1,500 miles and it's freezing cold. It's like 10 degrees. My hands are actually kind of numb. I'm so not used to this being a Floridian but it's already worth it. Within the first 15 minutes, we found our first snowy owl. It's a big one, and I'm guessing it's a big female. And she's right up here on this telephone pole, and I'm filming her. But thankfully, um, I've been communicating with a guy who's local here. His name's Adam, and Adam, I can't thank you enough. This is so cool. He gave me exact coordinates to where these owls are hanging out, and we're gonna be here for the entire day, and hopefully we get some better lighting conditions, and. They should start feeding around noon, so hopefully we can get some of that stuff. This is so awesome. And here is my first shot of the incredible snowy owl. Even in horrible lighting conditions with all that cloud cover, this bird looks absolutely incredible. I just need those clouds to move on a little bit, so it's time to drive and hope that they go away. So we were just driving along out, and out this way. You can see a group of crows, which is actually called a murder. And they were just dropping down, about 10 of them, just falling down out of the sky. So I took out the zoom lens and I zoomed in and way off in the back of the field I saw what looked like a little teeny snowman. It was about that big in my viewfinder. And then I realized that little teeny snowman was a snowy owl. And all the crows were attacking him and they drove him off up into a tree. And he was huge and almost solid white. I took a picture or two of it, but I'm talking this is like half a mile away. So I'm not sure if it turned out or not, but it's still cool to see. There's something really interesting to note there's one of these snowy owls right here on this pole and it's so cold out that the heat from my automobile comes up off of the engine the wind blows it up and it gets between me and the bird and causes this heat haze and the camera has a really hard time trying to focus through it so it's kind of a here's a little tip if you're in the really cold air and you're shooting out your vehicle and you notice this is happening turn your car off and let it cool down and as soon as it does, that heat haze goes away and you can start getting better pictures. Here's a better look at this beautiful female snowy owl. She was relaxing on this old pole, not really doing too much, but then she spotted something in the distance that seemed to pique her interest. She flew over to a pole right above where I was parked to get a better look, and then she glanced over her shoulder to give me this incredible shot, and I really think my heart might have skipped a few beats as those big, beautiful eyes looked deep into my soul. I mean, look at this bird. It is absolutely incredible. I really love the little tufts of hair on her head that look like little horns. I wanted to move to another position on the other side of her because I knew that if she was going to hunt she would fly away from me and I was right. As soon as I drove my car to the other side, she dropped off her perch and flew towards the snow-covered field. I had my D850 in hand ready to capture the action. This owl had food on her mind, and her silent approach was one of total skill and stealth. It made absolutely no sound, 
and whatever was hiding in the snow below had no idea that a giant white owl was about to swoop in and devour it alive. The owl came crashing into the snow face first and buried its head deep in that icy cold as the sound of tiny snowflakes fluttered in the air. After about 30 seconds, the snowy owl emerged from the snow and glanced over its shoulder. It then stood up and slowly walked across the field and positioned itself behind a small clump of dead grass before looking around. It was almost as if it was making sure no one was watching, and then it lowered its head and looked right at me. This owl no longer looked like a bird. It almost looked like it had changed into something else. The posture looks like an animal that walks on all four legs, and it reminded me of a large cat. It was actually kind of creepy. Before I knew it, it, she was back in the air and landing on her perch. Look at those feet and look at those big black talons. This is one incredible looking bird of prey. The clouds had started to thin out at this point, but there were still large patches here and there blocking out all the light. Time to move on and locate another snowy owl. We found another female snowy owl, and this one was facing right towards me. This gave me the perfect opportunity to grab some nice shots while she sat perched on the power pole. I lowered my shutter speed and grabbed these two shots, and then something completely unexpected happened. The snowy owl ever so graciously jumped off its perch and started flying right at me. This was one of those strange moments when time seems to slow down. I'm looking through the viewfinder and saying to myself, wait, this incredible bird is flying right towards me. And then I realized, wait a minute, a giant owl that rarely sees humans is coming right at me. This might turn out really bad. As each shot ticked by in my viewfinder, the owl got closer and closer until it whizzed right over my head. It hit the ground in a white plume of snow about 75 feet away. I quickly moved my camera to the snow cloud waiting for it to clear. When it did, the owl was nowhere to be seen it had vanished. The real kicker was the fact that I had set my shutter speed too slow to get a tack sharp image of the owl as it buzzed over my head. Even though I didn't get a perfect shot, I still have an experience that I will never forget. Those thick clouds finally passed just in time for some nice golden light. Time for one more ride around the fields in hopes of capturing these incredible birds in some good light. It is amazing how much of a difference good lighting makes in the photography world. You can see more details, like all the feathers on this beautiful female owl who was also enjoying the warm sun. Then it was back to visit the female that buzzed my head. This first shot had good light, but I waited a few minutes and the sky cleared. I was able to get a nice blue sky behind her. She did a nice little stretch to give me a closer look at that big black beak, and that's something I definitely don't want to be on the business end of. And then it was time for that big, beautiful male I saw earlier in the day. Just look at that eye. It looks like a golden jewel. It's just absolutely beautiful. If only this beautiful bird could turn towards me and give me a nice shot of its face bathed in that beautiful late afternoon light, and there it is. What an unbelievable believable bird and I'm so thankful to have seen them and bring you along for the journey. Just absolutely incredible. Thanks for coming along. I had a great time and an extra special thanks to Adam for giving me all the information on the snowy owls. That was really cool of you. Adam is a photographer himself. He does incredible work. I'm going to leave links to his stuff down below in the description on his Facebook, his Instagram, and his webpage. And thanks to everybody for watching. I just passed 10,000 subscribers. That's really, really cool. I appreciate it. As always, click that thumbs up, share the video everywhere, comment, let me know what you thought of it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. And until next time, see you later.